Planet Coaster, originally released as an early access alpha in 2016 and still loved by players today. The game has been on quite a journey with a number of DLCs and around three years worth of updates making the game bigger and bigger. And even today, nearly three years after the last update, players and content creators alike are still pushing the boundaries of the game. The theme makers toolkit items keep the game alive and introducing user created content and even console players are now able to play the game that we fell in love with. And the game has changed so much since its original alpha. We've either forgotten what it was like or we didn't know to start with. So did you know there's a whole raft of things that didn't make the final cut of the game? Well, you lucky things. We're about to take a look. Originally launched through the Frontier Launchpad, the Planet Coaster Alpha was released early 2016. The launcher doesn't work anymore, and nor does the Alpha because you can't validate the files. But luckily, I found a vault of screenshots from my years. So we're going to start here. There are a whole load of signs that were in the Alpha and they were never taken forward into the game. They just simply disappeared. And it's a shame because these were my two favourite ones and I literally spammed them everywhere. There's also a load of bushes and rocks that didn't make the cut as well. And there's also this beaut of a piece. I don't even know why it ended up on the cutting room floor. This is the exact piece we desperately need. And also talking of not making the cut, there was a second panel wall that didn't make it. This blue panel wall used to complement the current white ones, but those textures were later swapped out for what we now know as the rough concrete. Shops were completely different too. They were originally attached to a wall piece and every wall piece had a version of a shop. So rather than one single cosmic cow shop, there were many, one for each of the different wall types. This was also true for toilets as well, but this was later swapped out for what we know today when more walls were introduced and the number of variations just became unmanageable. And moving on to roller coasters, that coaster building tool was completely different. It used a central spline instead of the three-way split that we currently have. The stations also had no air gates and the ride operator booth was completely different. They were completely covered. This was also the user interface for the coaster screen in the early days with a rather limited and slick design, but that was mainly due to the fact that the main features weren't even in the game yet. If you take a look back at the developer diary videos, they are still available on YouTube. There were a whole host of scenery items that didn't make the cut either, like this wall sign and these planters and as far as I know they're still referenced in the original code of the game they just no longer exist as assets and the rides didn't escape transformation either the roto tower had its base edited from the checkered effect to the bullseye effect that we've got today and we lost all of that amazing brick detail that it once had by the way I found this image on IGN some of the other rides were also reskinned too those changes may be subtle but they are definitely there Back over on the developer diaries, the shops were going to be completely different too. The look and feel of the shops were going to be far more generic and they seemed to have video screens where the menus would be. But this was later swapped out for those individual graphics that we know today. And apparently, there was going to be a chicken burger shop. That never materialised. Which brings me nicely onto the golden treasure chest that is the game's code. In the early days, it was spoken about premium and standard versions of shops where guests would be willing to pay more for better. This is what Frontier had to say in their own developer diaries. And they see the shop and it's fantastically themed, so they go, they'll spend even more money on an item they get from this shop compared to the stall just down the road, which looks a bit placed in the way. Now I know that isn't explicitly talking about that, but it does still exist in the game code today. But whilst we are there, we can get into some really shaky territory for some fines. There's a reference to a pipeline coaster that never surfaced in the game. I think it's this in the game files. And there's also a coaster car file that's called GASM and I can't seem to find the reference of that within the main game itself. But full disclosure, it may be a reference to the wooden coaster at Great American Screen Machine, so it might actually be an existing in-game wooden coaster car. And finally, let's have a moment's silence for this Planet Coaster park map file that ceased to exist when the game was released. This was my favourite map. And so Planet Coaster is a fully fleshed out game that we absolutely still love and play today. But it's also a graveyard of forgotten treasures. Now whether any of this missing stuff finds its way into any upcoming sequel or if Planet Zoo contains any clues on the things we might see, who knows? It's sure fun to speculate. Until next time, bye bye.